Oh, hello, everybody. We everything's running. Welcome to my first gameplay impression for Farthest Frontier. We are going to play this game, well, not blindly. I've went into it for like 15 minutes, and I know the, the very basics, and we're going to have some fun with that. As far as I've seen, this is a pretty classic colony survival game where you have to survive against the environment. We're going to hang on the normal difficulty here. I don't want to go for a random terrain here. I want to go for the easy terrain because, you know, there's only one time in your life when the easy terrain is fun and then what's, that's when you're a filthy noob. So let's, uh, let's take that beginner bonus and not waste it, shall we? Life wow, that's uh, everywhere. That's louder than I have configured it. Early access kinks. I'm over, I'm skipping that video. I'm sorry about that because it really didn't uh, go well with the <laughs> audio settings of mine. I was very surprised how loud that was all of a sudden. Well, let's see if the uh, audio settings will will endure and last with us. So. World generation takes a minute. I gotta say, the terrain is quite uh, vivid, though, so I, I understand why. All right, good. We shouldn't wait too long there. So I was, I was uh, fighting with myself a little bit if I pre-create a world war, if I'll uh, get over the creating uh, of the of the world uh, screen with you so i decided to go for that so right now in the early access we have five different terrains we can play which is pretty awesome we have 14 different materials to work with and well i i really don't know how the uh, exact interactions in the, with this game are going to work that's something we're going to find out lord starlight hello there Aikichi, hi there, welcome. So what is this about? Build a village and survive and not get killed by raiders and wild animals. And don't starve, don't get sick, the usual. So let's see, we we get to select a new uh, or, or settlement uh, spot. So let's see, there's food here. Man, this look, it's so gorgeous. Man. Holy crap. Didn't expect it to be so beautiful, gotta admit. So at the at the very beginning, our main interest should be to have a steady source of wood and stone and food, the usual things. So I think this area here looks pretty pretty good. There's a lot of uh, stone deposits there around there. I mean, this is supposed to be an easy uh, start, but I'll take the easy start as the bloody noob that I am. So town center, boom, we are. Uh, the eagle has landed. So now I have I I we barely hear the game at shit now, don't we? Okay, so let's let's change that. It's pretty hard to uh, to find the proper uh, settings right from the get go. All right, so I hope the video quality is okay. I got a little bit of a warning here from my software, so let me know if there's anything, uh, anything bad or such. Okay, so our dudes now are, are building their, their town center. We have a lot of different things going on there. We have a health, we have a health system. We have a, uh, children and, uh, adult system. We have a happiness system. Right now everybody is freaking unhappy. We have food storage hidden here, so you see we have different categories of food. There's, or uh, I think, I don't know if this is the time of the year or the time of the day, but I guess the time of the year. And here we have a couple of our materials there, so. The usual starting things, okay. Yeah, we got some problems, but Let's start out with resource hunts, right? So I'm issuing some uh, commands to uh, to get ourselves some wood. First things we have to take care of is, of course, shelter and food supply, the usual things. 
But before we do anything, we're going to finish the town center first. I'm playing this uh, very slowly right now because I'm not quite sure how how hasty we have to deal with these things. Okay, let's speed up the game a tad bit. So, okay, let's stop. Oh, we can't even go half speed. Nice. I wonder if these were too many uh, trees to chop at once. I'm not sure about that. But we'll see about that. Now, village center completed. So let's see what we can do. What what can we do here? We have our information. We have a tier here. Next tier requir uh, requirements: shelters, market, thirty people, and some material. And then we get the better home, uh, the better thingy there. So, okay, hide coats, shoes, and clothing. What do we have here? Oh yeah, the uh, the usual. Uh, Job assignment thing, okay. There's a lot of jobs here, isn't it? Resources and storage, okay. Villager happiness. Sure, nearly all of your villages are homeless. No, that's not true. All of them, it's not nearly. Okay, let's change something about that. Let's build ourselves some housing. So, let's see, a shelter is... They don't tell me how many people will live in a shelter eh? before I build it. Dang. So let's build one here and uh, proceed like the filthy nuke that I am. Also, like Rimworld with better graphics. I don't know. I am. I was extremely happy to see that the devs were kind enough to uh, provide me with a key for this game when I get when I did uh, file a request. Because this looked like uh, like a game I I totally wanted to play from the first very first moment. <laughs> okay, so one shelter does provide what we can give a home for four people here. There we go. So that means we're going to need two more of these. Is there a uh, button to copy these? Can I? No. Well then. Let's plot down three of these right next to each other. And the next thing that I want to do is set up a well. Oh, we need stone for that. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of water source here. Nice. So let's set up a well here. And I think we're going to need to get ourselves some, some resources first, anyways. So. Let's harvest that rock. Okay, well, let's see. And we seem to be out of wood. Can I click those trees to harvest them just like I did there with the stone? Oh, yeah, I like that. Greens. Okay. So we're requiring firewood, but the water problem has been resolved as well. Yeah, let's do this whole firewood thing next, and then I think we're going to set up either a fisher or a forager, I don't know. But first things first, we have to make sure that people are not sleeping uh, under, under, the front, under uh, without a roof anymore. Okay. Late spring? Yeah, this is the passing of the year, I see. So, I guess the first milestone is 
the usual stuff. Survive before the winter, uh, but survive the winter, and prepare yourself to not die during that. I guess that is the thing. Okay, so let's pause for a moment and think about our next steps. I think I'm still a little bit too uh, low on the sound, am I? No, not the main menu. So, let me know if we're uh, too loud now. But I feel like I'm not hearing the game at all. Alrighty, so we got the houses. Now the next thing is the firewood splitter. Desirability. So I or okay. So so a crafter's place lowers the desirability of a of an area. Got it. So we're going to set up the firewood splitter over here and. Uh, There's a big fat birch tree. More people wish to join your settlement. Amass a four month supply of food in six houses. Does that mean as soon as I have these things, the people will come? I think that's the case. Yeah, I'm barely hearing any sound. I know, I know, it's weird. It's like the main menu was brutally loud, and the game itself. Let's see. I bet the combat music will kill us now, but... Tell me how it is now. So... Oh yeah, and another thing that I want to do here is... Uh, pop out the chat, because... The game mutes every time when I operate the chat so if you're not hearing anything that's because i'm working here on technical stuff in the background so now we got it sorry took me a moment to figure everything out but... so patch of herbs Alrighty. so Just as usual, I'm, I, I'm, I'm struck by the amount of detail of this game. So, we got now a fire splitter, a, a firewood splitter. We have a bit of this, a bit of that. What we don't have is a source of food. Alrighty, so how does that thing work? So, upgrade requirements. So, we can't actually upgrade this thing. So, Aaliyah is now somebody who's working here. So, one piece of uh, logs gets transformed into 15 pieces of firewood. So, we can put two people in there. Alright. The next question is, where can I configure the target inventory? So that seems to be quite loud. Let's see... Oops. That's... I'm getting it done, promise. I hope that's not ear splitting anymore. Mr. Free, hi there. RimWorld's still better? Well, RimWorld is uh, also way older than that, you know. It's unfair to compare things like that. Okay, so we have this. Now let's see what we can do for food. Food production, there we go. So our options, a hunter cabin, forager shack, a fishing shack, crop field, and a smokehouse. Alright. So, I'd say we're going to start out with the usual things. Let's start out with a forager shack. And I already see how this is working on out. 
So pressing tab does rotate the buildings, in case you are wondering, like I did when I started out. So, let's see, well, I'm gonna drop it somehow like this, and then the patch of greens over there, I'm going to grab that somehow else. But it's okay to uh, to do a rim world a little bit, you know. Definitely nothing to uh, mutter about that. But I I do like how how this is starting out so far. All right, so we get ourselves the firewood together. I don't dare to expand now with housing because food stocks are low. Feels like Age of Empires. Yeah, that's a very, very good comparison, I gotta admit. So, let's drop down a uh, fishing... a fishing hut here. So, fishing areas 9. Let's do this. I mean, basically everything I'm doing here will be most likely not that ideal, but who cares, you know? Alright. Let's see. here telling me I know don't tell me about uh, more people here we are right now working on our food stockpiles you fools so deer sighted we definitely should set up a hunter's cabin, too. Yeah, gathering wood takes a while. Definitely, uh... Definitely a thing here. Aditya, I dare. Happy to see you. So, no fish in range. Oh, I... I... I am so sorry. Relocate building locations, so... I thought this would be like just all the other games, where you just uh, plot this thing down and uh, boom, fish. Okay, so we're going to ignore that for a moment and instead we're going to, uh, let's see, we're uh, already in the autumn, so we we should go for a hunter cabin. That's uh, one of the best ways of uh, giving ourselves some, some food. And probably... I mean, this is all Hawthorne. It's not berries, all right? So. Let's just slap down another forager's hut here. So. That should give me some food. And then I'll, uh. Find out how this whole fishing thing works sometime later okay we got the hunter cabin seems like hunting produces a lot of food at once so and the smokehouse now so desirability is being lowered by the smokehouse not too surprised at all about that 
So we have to harvest some more material and then I dare to give myself some more housing. What can I do storage wise? A stockyard and a storage cart, but nothing beyond that. Alright. Whatever. And so let's place down those houses here. And let's see if that'll work out or not. So our food stockpiles are pretty crappy, but well, I do have people running around that uh, are able to gather food for us, so I hope this will work out one way or another. Food stocks are low. Yeah, well. Let's see what our foragers and hunters can do. And we need more of these. Have you assigned your pawn for a specific job? Um, they, they do that on their own. As you see here, whenever I build a building, they automatically assign people to that building. I can do this, uh, I can assign that manually though too. But for now, I didn't see the, the need of that. So let's see, this guy produces smoked meat and smoked fish. Right. But there's still one thing that I want, and that's... Let's see, trigger on click. Still blasts my ears still a little bit. Risky Mohammed, I there. Happy to see you, man. Hope you have a good time. Okay, so, well... It seems to me like we're getting along over the winter. Hopefully. So yeah, the, the pressure is real. So let's see. Stockpiles, firewood. Can I can't I configure heat resources and storage? So spoilage. Ingredient for produced by used by. But I don't have a option to tell the game please produce that until we have an amount of X. That's bad. That's something I don't like. I hope they'll change that. A target production amount is absolutely uh, vital. Well, thank you, Bree. Yeah, well... I've been hustling around for uh, audience a little uh, a, a little while. Appreciate you guys, you guys. So let's see. It's the first winter. Let's see if we'll all die miserably, and I'll have to restart. <laughs> Feels good to be back from my vacation as well, my friends. So let's see. We don't have any option to make uh, vegetables last longer so far. So let's see what can we what can we actually build? A graveyard. So we 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 possibly should have a place where we bury our dead. So behind the old foragers hut. That's where we bury our people. Let's go. Some project for the winter, you know. Uh. 
So we need eight shelters for the next rank. Food stocks are low. Again? Fine, we have six months of uh, food in our stockpiles. Why are you saying that this is a low amount? I don't get it. We'll see about that any moment. So... During our founding time, having more food than that feels like a good thing to have. I hear wolves. What's the current size of the map? That's a medium one. New villager immigrated. New villager born. New year number two. Alright. So, a new settler named Trumon has arrived. Hi there, Trumon. So this guy comes with clothing. They don't have any skills so far. And Osman has been born. Okay, we are going to need more shelters like I have discovered now. So let's start with that as our New Year's project. Alrighty, so this will require us more food, uh, more, more, more wood again. So I wonder if I even have any spot where I can fish. Because I see nothing hopping out of the water anywhere, so... Maybe I'm just dumb, but, uh... Playing peaceful mode? No game core. Cool. I, 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 I have the... I have the... the, the violence on. <laughs> Winter was for two to three minutes, yeah. I was surprised how quickly the, the time is uh, passing as well. So, let's see. We have planned the uh, units of housing there. Gosh, this thing is loud, it annoys me. So we need a market and we need dirty people. And we need wood planks. So there's a lot of stuff we need to do first. Okay, so let's see, a saw pit requires a stockyard. Okay. I wanted to build that anyways. So let's just say this is uh, turning slowly into my industrial area. Let's do this. Predator sighted. So there's a wolf. Can I select multiple people? Some just uh, people just kill that wolf. Yeah. All right. We have a little bit of an RTS flare going on here, but Maria has just slain that beast. Alrighty. So PVE comp uh, things have been uh, have been have been approved. Oh God, can't talk. Whatever. So we have the the housing. We have a bit of food there. Let's see, decorations, birch tree, costing gold to decorations, okay. Walls and roads, so. Let's see. Cool. We got fancy roads. Oh man, and you can't even uh, see. It's even adapting here to make a nice, uh, give it a nice look like that. Is the visible map we see the size of the map? Um, no, that's just what we have explored so far. There is uh, a command to set up an exploration point. I sadly haven't found any map features so far. But, uh, you know, I can't really tell how far I'm scrolling, but this blackness uh, was expanding quite some while there. Six people have arrived at your village. They have plans to immigrate. 
Yes, 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 yes. Hop on in, fellas. I've been preparing for you. So, since I have now that many people, we're going to go for the food production now. Let's do crop fields. So we have uh, quite a lot of fertility here. So, I do have a forager's place there. Soil mixture, clay versus sand. Wow. Quite a lot of things here going on. Under minimum size. All right. So, let's see. Three thousand work units for that. No, 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 no. We're we're going to start on out with that. Okay, so this does take a while, though. <laughs> Holy crap! Didn't expect that. All right. So hooray, we survived the first winter. I'd say. So, a bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers. Yeah. I know that you folks want me to build a market. But first things first. Yeah, okay, those numbers aren't exactly that insanely high. Or, well, okay. It seems to be a dirty, rotten amount of work to get that done. So, the stockyard is storing all these raw materials for us. That's good. Can I actually relocate the storage cart? Move building. Yay, that's awesome. <laughs> I like that. So there's a lot of really, really cool things already on the horizon here. So there's a clay deposit, if we ever happen to need some of that. Well, For now, well, let's see. Can I build that market thing now? So, what do we have here? Storehouse? Large storage used to store all items? Root cellar? Oh, yeah. We need that. We really, 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 really want that. As quick as possible. Because, um, this is basically our freezer. Can you move your main building? Let's check it out. Oh, sound. No, sadly not. I really don't know why the sounds are so annoying loud. I've already reduced the user interface uh, sound to like 10% of the uh, total value. Hope that gets uh, fixed. But I mean, it's not unusual to see stuff like that happening. So I'll be prioritizing this thing now. Because I really want that to be done. New villagers immigrated, new villagers are born. We're getting somewhere. Hey, what you guys know? Hi there. Good morning. Well, over here it's 2 p.m. A little bit past that. So. Alrighty, so we have 23 people now here, and the new year is beginning. I'm a little bit um, sad that I didn't go for the farming earlier, but let's see. We're going to set up another forager. Oh, well, does it really... Yeah, it does. We need it. We do need it. So my personal assumption is that I'm going to get beaten by some random aggression at some point because I was derping on out. So... Let's see. Defenses needs gold. Right. 
amenities and service. So where is the market though? Resources? Ah, no, here, the soul pit. All right. That's going to be extremely important. Thanks, guys. You're, uh... We're answering questions instead of, um... We appreciate. Because I am pretty, uh... Pretty captivated here. Oh, look at that. They are actually kept collecting willows. Alright. So we're recent we're harvesting some of that stuff here. And we got the salt pit up and running. Alright. So I'm really concerned about the the food stockpiles of my uh of my city, so we're going to set up yet another forager here. With priority, please. Simply because I have the feeling as if this is really, really going to bite my back if I uh, don't uh, upgrade that in time. Yeah, well, so far it is quite simple. The auto task management just assigns everything um, to every uh, to every new job that you set on up. You or you always get one dude um, assigned to that. It's very basic. It ain't bad or anything really. And you have here this uh, vast um, menu um, to to uh, manage that. Over here, you see how many blank spots you got. And over here you see how many builders you have. And you can you can manage that all by yourself. And all the buildings have a uh, menu, you see. Here I could just uh, assign more people into the buildings as well. Can you set up fishing too? Yes, actually I do, but it doesn't seem like I have fish here at my coast. When I set up a fisher, he just didn't uh, bring back anything. There's a bird's nest. Gosh. These things are way too loud. I'm sorry guys if it's bothering you, but I can't uh, I can't change it for now. So we are going to need 40 planks, 25 stone, and 30 people to upgrade this thing. We're getting there. Now let's uh, get ourselves a road to our new uh, field. Gotta say, I didn't expect the uh, um, the agriculture to be such a uh, massive investment in, in terms of workforce, but I like that. If you know, banish basically the same game with more features. <laughs> That's a very good comparison. I love banish, but I say I gotta say, banish never had the. Uh, a large enough scope for my taste, you know? I, I love city builders, and Banished always uh, stayed like in a in a village scope. But it, I gotta say, it was one of the best games in that genre um, I've ever played. Out of the indie games in terms of sub colony survival games, Banished is really standing out as something very special. So, we get a constant influx of people here into the city. We have food for eight months, so that sounds like we are golden. And so, let's see, our field ain't done yet because the because it's winter, okay. We ain't building during winter, but I mean, we, we got enough food for, for the entirety of the winter, I hope. Worst case, somebody's going to starve. I thought. Okay, so what can I what can I do here now? So resources. We have now a uh, new things there. A Fletcher building. Ooh, I like that. So 
I'm going to set up the Fletcher over here. This is going to be your winter project. So, a tannery requires a hunter cabin, a storehouse, and a well. Ah, we don't have a storehouse yet. I massively dislike this, uh, this system of locking things behind the uh, construction of certain buildings. I, I really dislike that, uh, that kind of system. I hope the devs rethink that. I, I, I really like if I can decide for myself what I'm going to build and whatnot. This way you are always forced to uh, build that certain building at a certain time, otherwise you don't have access to, the, to another building. That, that always feels a little bit uh, like the the tech tree is forcing my uh, my decisions on me. But I, I gotta say, a, a warehouse ain't anything you're not needing, you know. Alrighty, so we got a lot of things going on here. Is the combat in this game something to be excited? Um, but like, I think it is, uh, it is very, um, RTS-like. You hope this is better than Kingdoms Reborn? Yeah, well... I think you have a good and fair chance in that. Kingdoms Reborn is a great game in itself, but you have to like the card system it, 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 it uses, otherwise the game is, uh just not your cup of tea, I, I, I think. So, let's see. Let's experiment for the first time with those exploration markers and tell our people to go north. So, if you like real-time strategy games just like the, um, like, uh, They Are Billions and, uh, and The Rift Breaker and the like, I think it's a lot about building a city and then defending it against outside uh, threats and the like, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know how the uh, how much importance the entire fighting thing has in this game, though. So you guys don't have access to a well here. Are you kidding me? It's not true. But I don't know. We're we're almost at the spot where I'm going to uh, set up a, a new housing, but I want to wait until I have access to the next level of our town center, because I think we will unlock more efficient housing from that point on, but uh, upgrade cost. Okay, never mind. Upgrade requirements town center tier 2, so there's really no reason to uh, to wait out on this. So crops are ready for assignment. Crop rotation. Okay, so mm -hmm. okay. So they they do like to get to go um to go into detail here huh so let's see impacts fertility so some of these plants are decreasing the fertility some of them are increasing the fertility but that's uh, luckily i have a garden on my own and therefore i i know a little bit about these things soil mixture for so i can change the ground here goodness this is detailed so clear selected crop expand the crop field so let's see this is the passing of the year so good lord I'm frankly confused, but that's fine. So let's see. Is there any. Ah, yeah, here, grow time. And how to remove these? Clear select. Okay. 
so we gain some fertility and we lose some fertility. Let's just, uh, I mean, this is just a, uh, a, a thing that just, um, uh, can't be done forever. Oh, we can't even slide these. All right. Okay. It's crazy. So what I wanted to do though, was something else here. I want to go for, let's say, Oh yeah, flax, wrongly. Cabbage. Leek. Wow, sorry, I'm a little bit uh I'm a little bit uh, captivated here. Looks like a game Lilcia will like, yeah. <laughs> she was uh, very let's just say she was very, very pleased to say when uh, pleased when I told her that I got the I got an early access key for the game. You're absolutely right about that. Okay, let's just do this like uh, like like a noob, like the noob that I am. You can really do some very very intricate things here. We're going to need a um, another farm for crops that we're going to use for clothing production and the like, but one thing at a time. One thing. So, let's do this. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the fact that so far we're only chopping trees and uh, not replanting any. Cane Black Mist. Hi there. Happy to see you. I hope you're understanding me. I always have big trouble in, in swapping from, from English to German and, and from German back to English, so... I I don't want to bother my my poor old head. Okay, so um, I really got no clue yield factors for weed level. Why are there so many weeds? Okay, it's really really uh, it's really something. And also I do have the feeling as if the well that I have here is not enough for for the rest of the people here, so let's carve out another one. Awesome to see that. Now then, let's see. Well, so far so good, I'd say. Okay, now... I need 40 wood planks, but this shouldn't take forever now. I'll keep this open now so I don't have to listen to this uh, horrible ding-ding sound again. Sorry, it's just uh, too loud and I can't really, uh, can't really notch it down. So for all of you who are preferring uh, German uh, content and the like, uh, my, my wife is going to stream later down the road. She has a Twitch channel and uh, in my description box, you'll find my Discord channel where I will post an out or, or where her streams get announced every time when, you know. So, if you want to check it out, I sure would be happy and she would be too because she's just starting out now and uh, we all can't use a helping hand, can we? So, where is the market? We need that next. So this is where, this is a very, very vital building because this is where the goods get distributed to our housing. So just like in all of these games, we're going to do this like that. Let's see, I'm going to slap the market down here and it produces income, hey there. I think you got to drag them into the right spot. Some of your veggies lap into well for me streaming ain't a hobby and uh well let's just say 
if possible, she'd be doing this also not as a hobby, but you know, getting into uh, getting into this is a pretty hot process. Thanks for um, the pointer, Jasmigo. You're absolutely right. We can pull this into the middle of this, and this is going to be way better. Thank you. So let's see. We have the market in construction. Let's prioritize that, and let's check out the new buildings that we have unlocked. So, in the resource production tab. So we have the saw pit now, we have the tannery. So what does the tannery do? Cures animal hides and turns them into coats. Very useful. The cobbler shop and uh, makes shoes. Alright, and the basket shop increases the carrying capacity. And the compost yard... transforms uh, or or droppings into useful stuff all right so let's see how is the stockpile for leather anyways i'd say we're going to check on out in our resources and storage tab so we have 18 pelts we surely don't have too many pelts but i think it is absolutely worth it to do this so Let's say, since our hunter is here, I'm going to go for this thing here, and the tannery over there. Everybody hates the tannery. Stinky thing there. Oh, our house is on fire. So... Good thing that we are living right next door to a uh, well there. Good thing that we are living right next to a well there. Okay. So, resource-wise, we are on a really, really good uh, spot there. Just seems like the logistics aren't flowing as I want them yet. Oh, look at this. Isn't it neat? They even put plants around it. Okay. Gotta say, the visuals... I'm never a man about the visuals alone when it comes down to a game, but gorgeous visuals always are a nice plus. So, let's get ourselves some extra workers into this thing. Work, work. Let's get those pelts processed. Yeah, that fire was scaring me, man. I already thought that something really bad would be happening there. Okay, but it looks like we are now pretty much in a, in a cycle, you know? Stable situation and the like. Something has to go wrong from here on. Okay, now I got the, uh, I got the market down. Let's uh, pause for a moment, or even better, don't pause, just uh, let the game run slow. So, let's see, here we have, we can use barrels to reduce the spoilage, and these guys are, well, transforming. Predator sighted! Wolf, where are you? Ah, here. Yeah, it's really important that we uh, group up a bit. But so far, if they work well with this very simple um, form of uh, clicking and commanding, this could be a lot of fun. Alrighty, so now we got it. Happy your net. Daniel, hi there. Yeah, well, I've been uh, away for two weeks, so... Uh, it's not really your fault. I've been on vacation, and that's uh, my second day back in business. So, you didn't miss too much. During the last two weeks, that is. Alright, so, you filthy commoners, reduce me my 
my planks. Wait a sec. We ha they have 70, uh, oh no, they have 70 produced in the last year. Sorry. Okay, we need stone as well. Dang. I just don't want to expand my city anymore now that I have the next thing almost uh, on hand, on my hand, at my hand, whatever, you know what I mean. My vacation was awesome. We were camping in the, near the mountains, just a hundred kilometer, kilometers away from my home, but it's, it really doesn't matter that much. I love being out in the nature and it really uh, helped me unwinding and... Uh, Getting back into uh, into what's important, you know. So, oh, we need forty planks. I thought thirty planks. Well, whatever. We get there. I might be reducing the amount of people cutting planks in a moment, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, I think the next time I start a game, I would uh, definitely rush the Forager a little bit more. That would be the the next time I'd be starting uh, the Forager, Forager and the Well first, and then the Housing. So your guys can stockpile a little bit of food while you're doing this. Did you stick to a normal sleep cycle? Well, yes, sadly. It sounds weird, but... For me, the thing is, if I sleep, uh, if I sleep like a normal person, I always have problems with my either my back because I'm sleeping too long, you know. I don't like sleeping longer than eight hours, and we were sleeping quite often ten to twelve hours. And the other thing is, well, it's just not my my natural sleep cycle. So the smokehouse's storage is full. Okay, it's a good sign. Well, Hussein, it's going to be released during this day. I, if I remember correctly, today was the release, so... From here on, I think you'll have to wait like four hours, something like that. Okay. So winter is here, and our upgrade for the town hall is almost done. Bam. Alright, tier 2. So what does that mean? So first off, we require 25 homesteads. I think homesteads are the next uh, size of uh, buildings. And we need one school. We need one trading post. We need 125 people. Wood planks, clay, and gold ingots. I mean, 1,200 gold ingots, considering that we are right now rocking 55 of these. It's quite a lot, isn't it? So let's see, we have also access to all the juicy tier 2 buildings now. Okay, this will take me a moment, I guess. Three hours, yeah. I just felt like uh, torturing you guys a little bit with some early access footage. Healer's house, so the doctor is in town. Why can't we? Oh, yeah, <laughs> if the town center gets destroyed, we can build a new one here. Okay, trading post requires planks and stone, a building where goods are stocked to sell and trade with visiting merchants. Nice schools provide a basic education which boosts work rate for villagers. Okay. Some professions require educated workers. The pub! Alright. We gain money out of that, but the booze has secondary side effects. Alright. The rat catcher. Alright, so... <laughs> and uh, the rat catcher comes with monthly costs. Alongside with the healer's house. Theater. Okay. So. Hmm. 
wagon shop. Wait a second. Location desirability bonus has to be 30 or higher. Okay, good lord. Then, let's see. Wagon shop. A workshop where transport wagons are manufactured. Wagons can be used by villagers to quickly transport goods from one place to another, increasing the efficiency of building, farming, resource harvesting. It's a big thing. Granary. Okay. Cooper. Making barrels. Vault. Storing my gold. Okay. Gotta say... This is pretty complex. I didn't uh, I didn't expect this uh, insane level of complexity when I uh, booked this ride here. <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm super happy. I love it when games have the courage to uh, to stress me out like that. The windmill produces flour out of grain. Bakery makes bread out of bad. In here, oh, the barn. With a barn, cattle can be raised for food, hides, and milk. Cattles must be purchased from a visiting trader at the trading post. Arborist building. Interesting. I wonder if this is some place where I can also replant trees. Because somehow I'm, I'm still missing the, the forester, you know. So let's see, resources. Apiary. Cool. Potter building. Yeah. Weaver building makes candle shop. Soap shop. Charcoal kiln. Armory. Okay, so I'm overwhelmed. Teensy tiny bit. <laughs> so defenses. Barracks. Soldiers are trained and house in the barracks, which is which also serves as a defensive structure. Okay. Soldiers are needed to deal with more heavily armored attackers and siege rams. Okay. Well, I am considering setting up uh, a, 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 a few defensive structures here. Just in case that somebody comes creeping. I mean, these have a monthly cost, though. Damn. So. Wow, I'm. Uh, I'm baffled. All right, so we're going to need to build ourselves some uh, decorations here, otherwise our buildings will not be uh, attractive enough. So let's let's upgrade the buildings and see what this will do for us. Okay. Let's utilize that gold. like to have now would be a filter yearly taxes collected all right so different food types will also be in the thing but well what do we have here a medium plaza all right So, the first thing that I notice is that I have designed my 
my my housing area very poorly. So we'll have a very hard time in making this thing rack up enough appeal, but we'll try that. Alright, sleep well, mate. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. So, we even could... Yeah, we... We could here add in more sand into this place here to uh, enable a better soil mixture for these plants. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, I think I might be spending a little bit more time with this. Seriously, this is uh, looking pretty awesome so far. The only thing bothering me right now is the fact that it's a little bit hard to read out what uh, what kind of things I need or like here. I'm wondering if there where is the filter to see the desirability for of these buildings? Because as far as I can see, there is no such feature as of yet. But I mean, early game, king, early game, uh, early access kinks. You know, I don't take these too seriously. So far, I'm enjoying myself a lot. So let's see how much this thing here will change. There are so many things I could build now, and so many, so many ways I can go for now. It's amazing. So I think one good way of building your your housing areas will be to. Uh... You kidding me? That's it. <laughs> um, a good way of getting a good uh, housing area together seems to be uh, leaving a a nice amount of uh, space open to uh, to build uh, beautiful things like these. So oh yeah, a park. Let's do this. As you can see here. Ah, this is going to this is the desirability to be. I see. So there's going to be one house going over the mark there. Okay, the other thing that I want to go for immediately now is the trading post, because that seems to be very, very vital for my for my progress. Oh yeah, well, I can't wait to restart <laughs> now, knowing what I'm doing, basically, you know. Hmm. So... Why are these uh, arrows always pointing into the wrong direction? Whatever. So, as far as I can see, there's really a lot of things you can do with this game already. And a nice amount of complexity going on. So, we do have more shoes than we need, as it seems. Production ratio, all right. Here I can't configure how much of which good should be produced. Let's see. Here we see the hunter working. Yeah. We add a gold. I know, I know. Okay. So, my housing area here is a nightmare, and it doesn't work out well, but... We'll we'll be we'll be getting there. So the trading post is being finished. So okay. We have one trader.
and we can transfer some of these goods into our into our trading post. So let's say Ah here, the trader is in town. Okay. So let's see how that'll work. He'd be buying shoes, for example, as I see that. So... Let's see, we'll probably have to transfer them first. Patrick, yeah, it's just a couple of minutes. You know. So in here I can see what this guy has in the store, I see. And this is what he'd buy, hey? Eh? This is really, really awesome, I like that so far. So she's stocking the trade post, and now these things are at my trade post, and now I can sell them. Ching! 110 gold. Transfer gold to the global storage. So here, a lot of logistics have to be uh, taken care of. Okay. So I could be now checking out what kind of things I can produce in a larger scale. Yeah, so don't expect me to play this settlement uh, longer than this first stream, I think. You know, right now I'm mostly finding out what I can do here. So, let's see. This guy would be also buying pelts and sand. Okay. Let's set up an exploration mark. And let's see. I got a lot of wood available. And, uh. So we have our first shelter that should be able to be uh, upgraded soon. Food types 1. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, it's almost winter, so... What time is over here? It's, uh... At my place, it's 3 p.m. Not late at all. I don't know what these guys are doing different on this game, but this game certainly does feel different. From other games that I've played in this genre so far. Whoopsie. And the trader has left town, and another trader has entered town. And here you can see this guy is now buying wood. So let's uh, transfer some of that wood over to the trading post. Okay, so we got these things. Let's get on over to the food production. I want to have another crop field here. And the second one. It's gonna take a while, I know. But it's going to be very important for us because I want to set up the uh, the whole grain thing there. Yeah. So let's put up a granary in this vicinity there. Eighty-four units of stone here. Wow. That's a lot. And 
that'll serve us for a while. So, let's see. So this place automatically upgraded into a homestead there. And uh, now it would need the other things. Yeah, you ha we have the automatic building upgrades enabled here. You can also disable that if you would want to, but I'd uh, not suggest you to. Okay, so that means these homesteads do one thing, they provide more income but they don't provide directly a higher amount of housing, okay. Uh, or a higher amount of uh, available living room. That's more what I wanted to say. Now then, we got the granary. We got a cooper. A cooper would be nice too, producing barrels for us. A vault, a wagon shop. I really want that to be here. And we have to harvest to sell some trees. Yeah, this feels like totally like an overhauled, modernized version of Banished. A lot of feel a lot of the a lot of the banished flares back here. So let's see, a large park we can do as well, but no. So. They don't get a double bonus, as you see here. They are already influenced by a small park, so they don't get any extra bonuses from that. Sucks. So, a shrine. Oh, yeah. This will upgrade the entire area there. I do like the fact that gold is used so much to upgrade the appeal of the areas. This is a nice uh, system, as far as I can see. So, we have a wagon shop. So... 20 planks produce one wagon. Okay. The saw pit will be automatically upgraded like the all the other things as well. Okay. Or will it? I wonder. Yeah, whatever. Another thing I notice is that the game could what the game really could use would be a notification that uh, that uh, that the uh, merchant is in town. Haven't seen any of these so far. Maybe a dirk though. Could be also the case. Alrighty. Winter is over. We have a low amount of people again. Uh, low, low amount of food again. Food stocks are low! I know, I know. Don't worry, it's all gonna be fine. Oh yeah, yeah, the trader is coming on in. Awesome. So, the dude is selling herbs and buying herbs. Selling where he would be buying stone. You know what? Let's do this. We're going to sell some stone. These are just materials that we can get ourselves, get our hands on so easily, so. Oh, yikes. Sorry, you need to ban that. Oh. 
hope it's fixed now. So, wow, my people not that happy, hmm? So, we are running a little bit low on clothes. Let's see. Better sighted. I definitely want to try out one thing now this time. So people are not getting along with the predator if I don't uh, um, take care of it. Okay. So whenever a predator is uh, raiding your city, take it take it seriously. It's going to kill somebody otherwise. I mean, basically, I could use this uh, farm here as well for for more things than that. So we're producing hide coats here. Hmm. We're losing a little bit of stuff due to spoilage, but I'm not too uh, surprised about that. Okay. We got everything we need here. thing that starts to uh, worry me a little bit is that my food stockpiles are getting lower and lower. So I want to create wheat and that requires quite a high fertility. Let's see. Has to be the other way around. Like that. So we're reducing five fertility there. So clover is impacting the fertility positively there. Clover has a very high frost tolerance, too, so I think the trick is easier. We're just going to go for something like that. Here we can tweak a lot. <laughs> so, obviously this doesn't work in that year. Whatever. Good. I'm wondering a little bit why my food stockpiles are so problematic right now. We haven't had that kind of issue that much there. What's wrong with my foragers? Why are they not uh, picking up enough food anymore? Weird. Field status infected. Oh, 
Huh. That might play a role there. Well. Let's see. We're going to go for another forager shack here. Because this is just a very, very good area for them. Hey Zayden, thank you. That's so kind of you to say. Just doing my job is the only thing that I can do. I can say about that but I really really love to hear that you enjoy so let's see work camp continuously harvest wood and stone laborers assigned to the camp will deposit materials at the okay so clay pit all right iron mine gold mine coal mine sand pit all right Let's try out the apiary. Honey bonus, 70%. I really got no clue how the hell it's supposed to work out, but we're going to try it. So I'm going to go for this area here. Prioritize that too. How's my laborer account though? We really could use more people, eh? Yeah. Okay. Temporary shelter. Oh, okay. The temporary shelter is uh is a very interesting thing. I just noticed that. This allows you to um, give, to um, build, um, to build houses that can be used for people to live at. So, we haven't found any game for the hunters in a while. really problematic there so that means hunters need a constant uh, exploration otherwise it won't work for work out for them I guess my low food stockpiles are due to that due to the fact that my hunter is just not getting anything anymore planks and stone and and what is this heavy tools oh crap so I dare say that the heavy tools are something we well let's see maybe I can produce them myself but I highly doubt that so sources oh, let's see soap shop armory candle shop Weaver building, potter building, apiary. Well, so looks like we're done for. Boot stocks are low and, uh, I messed this up too much there. Okay, but that's okay. I, I, I leave this as my first impression run 
where we're going to die this winter, but I'll, uh, I think I really learned a lot. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to d turn this off for now and you'll certainly see more of that. A tutorial, something like are already forming in my mind. And yeah, if this was a video, a, a uh, video for you and not a stream, comments go down below leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and consider subscribing it really really does help a lot and what we're talking about help in the description box below you'll find a link to donate to my channel directly which is awesome because you know i do free content so help is very very much appreciated or you check out my patreon where i have a nice new program running where you guys can decide what kind of content I'll produce in the future. So, have a nice day. Thanks for hanging around, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.